found a way to do Mokei 8 Plus Mini PC. What does it actually look like? At first glance, you can be pleasantly surprised by the K8 Plus's tech-inspired design. It features a transparent top cover, providing a clear view of the internals. The central frame is made of sturdy metal material with fine craftsmanship. Not only that, the K8 Plus's interfaces have received a complete upgrade. The front is equipped with an Oculink interface enabling the connection of an external display dock. On the front panel, there is one Type-C USB 4.0 interface and two USB 3.2 interfaces. On the back, there are two USB 2.0 ports, one HDMI 2.1, one DP 2.1, and two, two 5G Ethernet ports. Let's get straight to opening it. The top cover is thoughtfully designed with clear instructions on how to operate. Just a slight twist, and it can be easily removed. Here you can see a cooling fan. Next, unscrew the four corner screws to remove the fan panel. To remove the fan panel, this fan can also be taken out separately. Here, you can see the dual DDR55600 MHz memory, which can be removed with a gentle pull. In the middle, there are dual M2280 PCIe 4.0 slots, which can also be accessed by unscrewing the screws. The hard drive comes with a thermal vest for extra cooling, which is a thoughtful touch. Below it is a Wi-Fi module, which can also be replaced if needed. It supports Wi-Fi 6 high-speed configuration. Tear off the tape on both sides. Remove the fixing plate. Next, unscrew the four corner screws on the motherboard. Flip it over, and the bottom cover can be directly removed. Then, remove the motherboard by slanting it from the rear interface side. This is the CPUS cooling system. Unscrew the screws on the turbine fan, and remove the fan. Continue unscrewing the screws. The K8 Plus uses an all-new VC heat pipe design for efficient cooling. If you need to replace the thermal paste, here's the AMD Ryzen 7 8845HS processor. Wipe off the thermal paste from the CPU and the heat spreader. Be sure to clean both sides thoroughly. Then, apply a moderate amount of fresh thermal paste evenly. Now, you can reassemble everything in reverse order. How was it? Isn't this disassembly process both satisfying and informative? If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.